Rangers have launched an internal investigation after allegations that a number of their players attended a party over the weekend that broke COVID-19 lockdown rules. Police say they've, they were called to a gathering in Glasgow in the early hours of Sunday morning and 10 people were given fixed penalty notices. Two fringe players at the club were suspended earlier this season for breaching protocols. Well, the First Minister also had some strong words for footballers at today's briefing as Rangers investigate claims some players may have attended an illegal house party broken up by police over the weekend. Our sports news correspondent Chris McLaughlin is here. So, Chris, what do we know about these allegations of players breaking COVID rules? Yeah, not really too much. We know there are allegations of a number of Rangers players who attended an illegal gathering at a house in the Glasgow's West End on Saturday night. Police issued a number of fixed penalty notices. Now, this comes just a few months after two other Rangers players were involved in a similar incident, another house gathering. Now, today, the First Minister was asked about it during her briefing, and once again, she struggled to hide her frustration. Can I say to football and sport generally, please make sure your house is in order because it is. it shouldn't take me standing here to say to highly paid footballers uh, that you've got to obey the rules. It really shouldn't take that. But the fact that it does is hugely frustrating to me. And I don't care whether it's Celtic, Rangers um, or any other club. It's not on. So please stop breaking the rules. Now, the First Minister also said today it was taking her all of her power not to use expletives when asked about football once again. Rangers, for their part, have issued a statement saying there's an internal investigation ongoing. But remember, the First Minister issued a yellow card to the national game last year after similar incidents involving other players from other clubs. Now, obviously, if that continues, then she would have to issue a red card. She was asked about that today. My understanding is if that was to be the case, she would have no choice but to pull the plug on Scottish football completely.